Hello everyone, I'm Asma Khouri and I'm an artist and today we'll be painting a simple landscape using coffee only. So with this technique you can paint anything you want. Today we're doing landscape. The materials needed for today's workshop are an eraser, a pencil, some brushes and tones. So we're working today with four different tones and our coffee mediums is just Nescafe with hot water. This is out on paper and remember that the more water you add, the lighter your coffee will be. I have my tissue and then I have my paper that I'll be working on. So the first thing we're doing is outlining our painting. For your drawing, you can use a reference image if you want or you can sketch from imagination. So I'm drawing my landscape very lightly because I don't want any pencil marks to show. So once you're done with your drawing, you can take your biggest brush and the lightest tone and add in the color just the background color very smoothly all over the place or just in your lightest areas. Then lightly clean your brush with a tissue and start adding your dark tones all over. Now remember when it dries it will dry darker than what you see right now. And you'll see here how your image will start to show up and you will start to build more details. And then just add your medium tones and some details and I'm just gonna go and add some details and build up my painting slowly with the tones that I have. Now if you have a reference image it's a bit easier to determine the highlights and the shadows but you can do it here with this landscape drawing that I have. I'm just going to go over the trees and give them some dimension and shape. Again I'm just cleaning up my brush using only the tissue and I'm going to go over the light tones and blend it in with the background. Between every step, try to let your painting dry and then work on it again and always remember that the colors that you see now will eventually be darker once the painting is dry. Here I'm just blending in my tones and adding a bit of darker tones and a bit of my medium then adding the light as well. I've kept it for some time to dry and then I've worked back on it again and I just keep on working on it until I feel like I'm done with the painting. At this point I'm done with my painting, I have my dark tones, my medium tones and my light tones. This is a smaller painting that I did earlier, you can see how the image goes darker once the painting is dry. You can do with this technique any painting and any drawing you want, just use the same technique and try to build up your tones. I hope you enjoyed this and thank you for watching and I'm really excited to see how your paintings will look like. Thank you!